This video is supported by the Motocross Network magazine. If you want to support us directly, visit themotocrossnetwork.com and buy a copy of our magazine. January 2023 edition is out now. Check it out. At this past weekend's rendition of 2023 Monster Energy Supercross, again, we witnessed some crashes. Although not nearly as bad as Anaheim 1 a couple weeks back, we still witnessed a few rough ones. Before we get into the injury updates from this weekend, let's first look at a gnarly 250 main event crash off the start. Now that you've seen the crash, let's analyze who was involved. Star Racing Yamaha riders Levi Kitchen and Styles Robertson, along with Firepower Honda rider Wilson Todd and Gas Gas rider Mitchell Harrison, seem to be the only ones affected. Of those riders, only two sustained any injuries of sorts. Firstly, let's look at Levi Kitchen, who took the brunt of the crash. Kitchen obviously hit the ground hard and was seen walking off the track holding his arm or wrist. He has since claimed he's fine, but it's believed that he may have a slight wrist sprain. Obviously, the team wouldn't want to confirm a handicap for their rider, so they're most likely going to stick with their story. The second rider involved was Firepower Honda's Wilson Todd. Man, th this guy cannot catch a break. He crashed down at Anaheim, and now he gets knocked out of contention in round two. Not the most welcoming rookie season in the U.S. Anyway, you can see him in the crash video flying over the Yamahas. Luckily, he did not sustain any breaks, but he did end up wrecking his hand due to his hand getting stuck in Kitchen's rear tire. Here's a picture of that. Next, I figured I'd include an update on Austin Forkner. He recently uploaded a video on his pre-operation doctor's visit. If you haven't seen it, here's the details. They now know that his MCL isn't torn, but he still has a tibial fracture and an ACL tear, so surgery is still required. The final injury update is on Jason Anderson. We all know that he had a pretty big crash at Anaheim 1, which he was lucky to walk away from. All he had was a bloody nose. This weekend, it was reported that he had trouble breathing through his nose and still had a decent amount of pain, so although it isn't confirmed, it is believed that he has a broken nose. Alright, that's all the updates we have post-San Diego. I'd like to say we'll see you next week, but I hope I don't have to do another injury update. Anyway, give us your thoughts on these injuries in the comments down below.